Hey guys, so today I'm going to do another Is It Worth It video and this one is kind of something that I've already talked about because I did mention it in my MAC collection but this is like a more in-depth review of whether I obviously think if it's worth buying or not. So if you can't tell by the title, I'm going to be doing my two custom palettes. So this one is obviously eyeshadow and then this one is for blush. So I've had this one since September or August of 2012 and obviously the only one that I've really like made a dent in is this one which is Woodwinked and it is obviously my favorite color out of these ones. And my blush one is really new. I've only had it like two or three weeks and I just have the color well dressed. So they are great because you are able to make your own palette obviously it's custom you um, buy this and it's separate obviously and then you fill it with whatever you want the main thing is that it's kind of hard to cut I, I find I like have difficulties remembering that I have this because I have so many other palettes for eyeshadow like naked one two and three and all that that I just get overwhelmed and I totally forgot that I have my own palette that I've made and I like every color so it's just kind of a struggle for me to use it just because I often forget and I'm not really a fan of some of the colors anymore. I know that probably sounds weird considering I made it and I picked them but um, when I actually finished it I just wanted to like get it over with because it really bothered me seeing it like this and this drives me nuts right now like oh my god if I had money this whole thing would be full because it's literally driving me insane right now but I don't want to make the same mistake as I did with this one so I don't really like this color that much and I just told the girl like oh just give me a bunch of neutral colors and I'll love them all and I regret that so Yes, this is worth the money, but make sure you choose wisely and you know what you're getting yourself into and don't just rush it like me because you will probably live to regret it because I do and it's not as if I can just like replace, well I can replace them, but I can't remember how much they are each. I know these are $21 each for the blush, but I don't think eyeshadow would be as much. It might be like under 20 but... I'm not 100% sure and I don't want to give you guys the wrong price so I'm just going to say I don't know because I don't. Um, so now that I know more about like MAC, like I've known about MAC for a long time and I love them. I've done school projects on them even for the Viva Glam lipstick line because it gives, it donates all the money to AIDS which is awesome but anyways it's like off topic. And so now that I know more about MAC, I would like different colors. So I'm going to try my best and use it up, but it is really cute. It's super handy, and all the colors together are pretty nice. It's just Woodwinked is my favorite, like I said, so it kind of takes away from how nice the other colors are. They're still nice. They're just not as nice as Woodwinked, and I think that's my main problem. And so then... The next one is obviously my blush and I can't really go into too much detail about this because there's only one color and I'm not really sure which other ones I want so if you guys have any idea like what color is really really good for MAC blush other than well dressed please let me know in the comments down below because it's driving me nuts right now that it's so empty but they're $21 each so for me to fill this whole thing would be over $100 and like I can't afford that that's crazy so I have to live with it but I think I'm I should have just bought well dressed and not gotten a palette because like really how much blush can one person own well I guess a lot of people have a bunch of blushes I never really started wearing blush until kind of recently um I just have like really rosy cheeks when I don't wear makeup and at first I just wanted to make my makeup like super pale and I just wanted to be like albino I was like I don't want any red or pink or anything so like now I do wear blush a bit more often um I usually use this one or my Tarte one, so now that I'm kind of like experimenting a bit more in blush, I guess I could probably fill this thing up. It was just kind of like an impulse buy. Um, I don't know why. I just have like a fascination with 
makeup and it just looks cool. If the packaging is cute, I will want to buy it. It could be the ugliest thing like inside, but if the packaging is nice, I can't say no to it. It's like a mental compulsion or something and I really need to get over it because I'm going to be poor. More poor <laughs> than I already am. Like I can't afford this. So I guess long story short, like yes they're worth it but make sure that you put a lot of thought into it because you are going to have these for such a long time like I've had this for almost two years and it looks brand new still and obviously I've only had this for two weeks like I still do really really like it I'm not saying I hate either and I just I think I would like this more if it was full so for my birthday maybe I'm just gonna ask for this to get filled even though my birthday is in like five months but you know September 3rd keep in mind that I want this thing full but I'm sure over the summer like gradually I will definitely be able to just like fill them up um, but it also sucks that you can't get them at counters so I have to go to an actual um, Mac store or I guess I could just go to like a counter and check out blushes like swatch them and then order them online but I just get really impatient when it comes to ordering online because when I buy something I want it right away and obviously it has to ship and all that and that takes forever which also drives me nuts so I'm the worst at online shopping, even though I just bought something online yesterday, which I'm super, super excited for. I got a Lime Crime lipstick in the color Coquette or Coquette, however you say it. I'm just so excited. I have seen Lime Crime all over, like, Instagram and YouTube, and it's just, like, the cutest packaging. I am so, so excited. I couldn't find it in stores anywhere, and so I just kind of bit the bullet and finally decided to order it online. So... I'll definitely be doing a video about that and let me know if you have any questions about the custom palettes um like if you want to know prices or anything I know this one was $12 to buy and then like I said each insert is $21 I'm not sure about this because it's been so long and I can't remember 2012 at all so sorry about that but um yeah, they're both really good products. It's awesome the fact that MAC actually lets you make your own palette. Um, having colors that you like definitely makes a huge difference. I think maybe if I had less makeup, this would be like the best thing ever. Well, it is the best thing ever, but I think it would be better for me if I had less makeup because then I wouldn't really have as much to choose from. Now it's just like, what do I wear today? I know first world problems, but it's honestly such a struggle some mornings. It's like, I want to use this, but I want to use this too. And this, let me just use all of these. Like literally right now I'm wearing three blushes and you can't even tell. So I guess that's good. I still look pale. They're all very light and like shimmery. If you saw me in real life, you'd be like, wow, you are sparkling. So I guess that's a color, but not really. But anyway, if you guys want to know anything else about the custom palettes, please let me know. Um, I'll definitely do my best to answer you guys. If you want to see any other Is It Worth It videos, uh, just let me know. Um, if for those of you who don't know, it's just me reviewing products that I own that are a bit more expensive. And then giving you my honest opinion on whether it's worth the money or not. So definitely check out my other ones. I will link them down below along with all my social media. And don't forget, um, when I get to 500 subscribers, Alex said that he will do the boyfriend as my makeup tag. But he made another like rule the other day that if I get to 30,000 overall views on my channel, that I can do his makeup. So keep watching because that'll be amazing if I can do his makeup before he does mine. But either way, like, it'll be horrible for both of us, and, um, but it'll be funny at the same time. So definitely keep subscribing and keep watching, and let me know what other videos you want to see. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!